Hey guys, Brandon here. I want to show you really quick how to calculate how many kilowatt hours you need to get to your next destination. Really easy um, using data inside uh, the vehicle. You need two pieces of data. You need your average energy use and then you need the distance uh, to your destination. So in order to get to this window, you'll need to hit uh, this icon if you don't have it displayed already. You can use the default one, which you can't see under here, which is 300, but a more accurate one is usually averaging out over 30 miles. Whichever distance um, you think accurately reflects the driving conditions, use that one. I'm gonna have mine set at 30 miles, and that's giving me an average energy use of 378 watt hours per mile. So in order to calculate it, charging speaks in kilowatt hours. So instead of 378, I'm gonna use 0.378. Basically, I just converted from watt hours to kilowatt hours. That's the energy I'm gonna use every mile. So I'm gonna multiply that by the number of miles that I'm going to travel, and I get a grand whopping total of about 39 kilowatt hours. Now, once you plug your car in, in the middle here, it's gonna tell you how many kilowatt hours that your vehicle has received. Now, if it says miles instead of uh, kilowatt hours, go to your controls, over here to settings, and then units and formats, and you wanna make sure this tab right there is on energy instead of distance. And then when you do that, it'll give you kilowatt hours. Now I've received zero because I'm, I'm at a supercharger, but I just plugged in, and uh, I calculated that I needed 39 uh, kilowatt hours. So once this reaches 39 kilowatt hours, then we're good to go. Now, two caveats. The car does this by itself, and tells you with this graph on the trip when you're able to leave, but it doesn't always accurately reflect the road conditions and your actual consumption. You want your average uh, based on these, so that's why it's kind of handy to calculate it yourself and sort of double check uh, the system. The second thing is you want to keep in mind how much energy you started charging with, because if you started charging with 5% and you calculate you need 39 kilowatt hours to make it to the next one, then you're gonna make it, but you'll make it barely. You'll, you'll have 5% uh, left again. So if it's, if it's gonna be really close, you wanna charge a little bit extra. I recommend at least 10% more. So if you have a 70 kilowatt hour battery, like I do, charge an extra seven kilowatt hours. 10% on the smaller batteries is actually a pretty narrow margin. So depending on the conditions, you might wanna actually give yourself even more reserve. It's always better to charge a little bit extra than to um, find out you're not gonna make it and have to slow way, way down or something to reserve energy. So there you go. It's a um, super simple way to calculate how much energy you need to charge based on your average energy use times the miles of your trip. So thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. Um, please hit the like button if you think this video might be helpful to others. All right, I'll see you in the next video.